sit with. Do what we need to do. The protest is every day for the next three weeks. Every blessed day for the next okay. three weeks. And you people must devise a strategy to outwit the army. As I said before, the army will face in one direction. There are some guns in a do state right now as we speak. Use those guns to kill one or two or three army officers, take their guns from them and from them and begin to kill the others. Anyone you kill, you take the guns and you start you, you kill other people as well. That's how it's going to be. Because they cannot sustain this fight for three weeks. Uh, before three weeks, if they continue to move their troops down, Boko Haram will overrun the north. Yes, and they understand they are very stupid. Yes, you know that Jang they are very daft. Okay. Unless they are the ones possibly Boko Haram. Yes, there are guns in those state already. Kill the army wherever you see them. Kill one or two. Take their guns and That is in and they can talking. I am playing you these old videos because you people you want to come and do your propaganda and come and be talking to the people. Because people that listen to you people are like you people. Ignorant people. Senseless people. We have them everywhere. This eight between tribes in Nigeria were never like this before the coming of Inan Deep Kano 2015-2016. He started it. He want to make it look as if the old, everybody gang up against the children of God, Okokobiama people, Igbo people, during the civil war. You don't want to talk about the atrocity they committed in our land. You don't want to talk about the, the people who organized the coup. You don't want to talk about the Oibo and over the Nigeria to them. You want to be Afra, you will not stay in your Biafra land. So they want to turn it to look as if we are the one, we are, we are the aggressor, we are the one that is attacking them. When in Adikanu, we are running his mouth. Insulting everybody. You people, you take away. Uh, those videos is not with us. And some Mumu people listen to them. Come and be calling me. What are you calling me for? You see that thing that Igbo people think they have in their mind that is making them still behaving like, whoa, 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 barking like dogs on social media, talking trash. That thing that move you people is in the rest of us also. also. The Yoruba have it in them. They don't have it in them. Robo have it in them. Everybody have it. The not have the Northerners, they have it in them. It's just that we control things. But you people want to do gra gra gra. That's why I'm playing you this video. If they didn't they cannot have right to be adding guns in Edo State. Is it in they can from Edo State? That's my territory. I am from that place. Can I come out now or can I be hiding guns in Abia State where Inadi Kanu is from? Did I have the right? Whatsoever to be adding guns, telling people to go and cause chaos, cause problem in Abia State that keep police, keep military, kill them there. After you kill them, take their gun, kill them, kill others. Is that not anarchy? Is that somebody that is witching in one anarchy in my state, our state? Are we slave to them? When do we sell our land to Igbo Onyamiri that Inadi can will come out and be given command? Who, who, who they will kill? If they kill soldiers, kill police, who is going to die? Who is going to suffer? Is it not the adults? Is it not the adults? So this is what I'm saying. You know, they can't have that right to do that. And those who I will worship him, you are my enemies. We will not stop. I'm sending this message to you people. I will not stop until you people change your ways. I know what I'm fighting for. I know as a, I am. I know what I'm fighting for. You understand me? You don't turn the table and come and be telling me. Before 2015, we don't, I know, it was not like this. You know, the guy who came and started talking stories, lying, they speak uh, Igbo, he never. Do, do that in your, in your five miserable states. Don't bring that to us. How about that video? Igbos are living between the devil and the deep blue sea. It is up to Igbos to choose their preferred evil or live with the two and stop complaining. Of course, we all know that it is he who fetched the termite infested firewood that invited the lizard for a feast. What am I saying? Igbo land is like a war zone. There are police and military checkpoints in every pump pool in all the roads in Igbo land. People are complaining. People are pained. They are not finding it funny. And they are complaining. You hear them say, I. It is not like this in Lagos. It is not like this in Southwest. When you go to North, when you go to Abuja, you know, you cannot find such things. You know, they are complaining, they are lamenting.
So I am here to talk to our people. I want us to be honest to ourselves. The military and the police didn't just come on their own. They were invited by our political leaders. And it is because of the insecurity we are having in Igbo land. That is why I said it is up to us to choose between the two evil. He said that we choose the unending police and military checkpoints and roadblocks on our road. Or we choose the incessant kidnapping activities going on in Igbo land. And majority of the people complaining are Igbos living outside Igbo land who have to visit an Igbo for one reason or the other. And that is because they have never been a victim. Anybody who has been a kidnapped victim in Igbo land wouldn't have problem with all these unending roadblocks and the checkpoints on our road. I can tell you that the reason why our people are still moving around at all in Igbo land is because of this checkpoint. Let us be honest to ourselves. An Igbo is not safe. Stop comparing Igbo land with Lagos. Lagos is not as unsafe as Igbo land. Abuja is not as unsafe as Igbo land. And if you think this kind of checkpoint can be found only in Igbo land, go to the northeast, go to Borono State, go to some of these northeast states and see what is happening there. This idea of whenever something happens in Igbo land, we say hey, if it is in the north, this wouldn't be the case. It is not true. It's not because we invited this insecurity upon ourselves. What business do we have with the police and military in Igbo land? So it is up to us to choose this is the, kidnappers uh, the few and or any police and military Nigeria, checkpoints in our world. Who room. say the way it is? The insecurity that idiot in the cannot try to uh, create in a do where people be running at a scatter. Our youth will be dying. He created it in, in, in their own land. He brought anarchy. He brought death to, to Indigo. Now they are complaining military everywhere. You choose. Is it the kidnapping, the terrorism that you want, or the, the military, the military checkup everywhere? Go out there, demonstrate. Let your Igwe, let your uh, uh, traditional law come out and say this, uh, they want the kidnapping. They want the criminality there. Then the military will go.